The Devastation of Rotterdam, a brand new Battlefield 5 trailer is dropping tomorrow and right now we have three separate teaser clips that have been released by EA, GameSpot and Xbox for that trailer. These give us a quick glimpse at what's coming our way tomorrow and finally gives us some more information about Battlefield 5. I know all of us have been playing these closed alphas on just one map and knowing very little else about the game. Finally, we're getting to see something different. The first teaser clip comes directly from EA, uploaded to the Battlefield YouTube channel. We get a very short look here at a soldier building some sort of fortification, judging by the animation that we're seeing, and then we switch to this snippet, showing a camo tank rolling through what looks like a desert, and then that's pretty much confirmed in the next shot, showing the tank catching some air over barbed wire, flanked by some German soldiers. Now, of course, Rotterdam isn't situated in a desert. It's situated just inland off the coast of the Netherlands. And from the information that we've gotten so far, the devastation of Rotterdam is one of the four settings that Battlefield 5 will launch with. So these desert shots are likely taken from the North African setting. Seems although the trailer will focus on Rotterdam, we might be getting a little bit more than that. The second teaser comes from GameSpot. This one starts most likely in the devastated city, judging by the debris in the background. And again, we see this tank being flanked by a German soldier. The next shot clearly shows off the city that's been almost completely destroyed. This time, however, a German tank firing off a shell into the distance and one of the German commanders standing through the entrance to the tank looking on at what's happening. Now, we've not seen anything like this in the Alpha so far. Soldiers standing up and leaning outside of tanks. So could this be a new thing that DICE is implementing into multiplayer or more likely, are we looking at a section of a single-player cutscene, perhaps? Time will tell. The third and final teaser comes from Xbox. This one very quickly shows a shot of an urban setting. This time, it doesn't appear to be the destroyed city, but it does still look the same, so perhaps this gameplay is taking place before the massive bombing of the city. Again, we'll have to wait and see. We can see, however, that the soldier standing here in the foreground is holding what looks like a Thompson SMG, and the soldier to the left appears to be holding a Sten SMG. SMG, which is a British weapon. The next snippet is really hard to gain anything from other than the appearance of the female soldier. We've got a long trench coat here, laced leather boots, a scar on her forehead, and what appears to be an M1911 pistol holstered on the front of her body. Now that could be a really, really interesting customization item. The last clip of this teaser shows us a soldier rolling over on the ground. Presumably after falling from height, that is one of Battlefield 5's brand new animations. And then we switch to a soldier slamming down the magazine into a light machine gun. And presumably this is the Bren light machine gun. Alongside those teaser trailers, this image was released showing some more of the character customization and weaponry that we can expect to see in Battlefield 5. Here in the middle, the soldier is holding the Suomi SMG. This is a Finnish weapon used during World War II. Roughly 80,000 units of it were produced. Now it looks very similar to the PPSH, a Russian SMG used during World War II, but we know this is the Suomi because it has a longer barrel and actually in real life that made it way more accurate than the PPSH. The soldier on the right hand side is brandishing an M1911 which looks to me like it might have been skinned, but it's hard to tell at this point. The soldier in the background is firing obviously a mounted machine gun, likely one of the MMGs we're able to use in the game, but I can't be 100% certain which one it actually is. And lastly, the soldier in the foreground is holding another Sten SMG. The pin on the top of the barrel gives it away. Now tomorrow we can expect a full trailer and these teasers appear to just be cuts from that full trailer as was the case with the reveal and EA Play trailers as well. However, this one has me much more excited already. Heading into Gamescom it looks like DICE is gearing up to show off the Rotterdam map that they've got planned and that is most likely going to be an urban setting. Now I've always felt that urban maps create the best Battlefield experience regardless of the game in the series so to see an urban map potentially coming to Gamescom 
makes me very, very happy. But let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Have these teasers sort of reinvigorated some of your excitement for Battlefield 5? I know the community's kind of laying low at the moment, waiting for DICE to do something. Well, this afternoon, they decided to do something. And also, come back to the channel tomorrow. I'll be breaking down that brand new trailer when it's posted. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications switched on so you don't miss any of my upcoming Battlefield 5 content. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.